Hello Bitsbrew, this is Craig from bitsbox.co.uk here and in this video I show you how you can turn a simple 2D picture into a 3D object and then print that out on your 3D printer. So in the example here I take a picture that my um, daughter made at nursery and I turn it into a little keyring and I also take a custom chapter symbol for my Blood Angel army and show you how you can print that out um, onto a, a little thing that you can put on like dreadnoughts, um, land raider doors, rhino doors any tank door basically and things like that. If you want to uh, know how you can take a chapter symbol and turn it into a shoulder pad then do hit that subscribe button because that will be in a future video. Um, so yeah this is part of a um, sort of mini series as well um, where I'll be sort of going into very simple basic sort of noob stuff for 3D printing and I myself am a noob at this. I've only been doing it now for about two months, two and a half months and yeah, I've learned a lot already in such a short space of time, so I want to share the stuff that I've learned with you guys. So if you're thinking about getting into 3D printing, or you're new to it like me, then, you know, at least the stuff I show you, if I can do it, then obviously um, anyone anyone can. So yeah, there'll be a few videos um, here and there in this se series, but there'll also be um, obviously our usual content as well. I've got some ideas for more conversions and painting videos and all sorts, so yeah, look forward to them, and if you haven't subscribed already, then do feel free to hit that bot button down below. Anyway, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so once you've got your image, you just Google Online Image Converter, and it should be the first result that comes up. I apologise, my screen is a cut off a little bit here, and I've got quite a wide monitor. But um, you should find it at the site, site Online Convert, and you just click on Convert to SVG, and then you choose your file, and that will upload and then you can click on the start conversion. I apologise, I was doing a display, um, a, a window capture, not a display capture, so that's why the little pop-ups up. Windows aren't coming up. But then you click on the download, and you can also download it as a zip or upload it to the cloud. Uh, once you've got that, you just type in Tinkercad and load up Tinkercad. Yeah, I mean, you might have to make an account with Tinkercad if you don't have one already, but this is what your work plane looks like. And then you can just click on import, choose your file, and then we can get that loaded. It'll take a few seconds to um, load up, and it might end up being quite large. And they do give you dimensions, so you can resize it. They only limit up to a thousand, but you just type in your own dimensions, and you'll be surprised how big it will appear. So after a few seconds, it'll pop up <laughs> like that, and there it is. Um, so so yeah, it doesn't look like much. I probably should have chose a better example, but I thought it'd be quite cute just to use um, a bit of my daughter's um, artwork. You can see there's little bits, um, little smudgy bits there, which I could have removed in the um, image editor, but if not, just get a transparent box like this and then click on both of them and click the group button and that will disappear. And then you just go around doing that on all of them. Again, nice and simple, and then eventually you'll have something that looks like this. Now, it's a different colour because I'm, I reloaded it and done it again for whatever reason. I can't even remember now, but it um, doesn't matter. Um, software normally just brings them up in random colours. So to put it on the keyring thing, I'm going to just make a little box here and have that sort of sticking out through it. Now, um, you want to lift it off the bottom, really. I didn't do that, so I end up punching a hole sort of all the way through this thing. I make another box and just put that underneath of the bomb, but um, ideally you just want to just lift your picture up. Um, if you are to um, take take it out of the actual thing to have it imprinted like I have here. And I'm just going to just take a corner off um, just to make it a bit more of an interesting shape. Um, but because I have um, another box underneath, you'll notice that that will, because I didn't select the bottom box. That'll just take a bit off the top. And then um, it takes it took a little while to remove it for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just running a little bit slow. Once I do that, I get a cylinder as well and um, put in a little hole as it's going to be a little keyring. Then, yeah, you can see that little bit there. So I just take another box and just remove that one manually. So, yeah, um, that's a little bit of a rookie mistake. Of course, um, you know, I'm. Fairly new to all this as well, so yeah, 
it's just a case I could have just selected both of the shapes and now just cut the hole out of both. But easy enough to fix, and I also um, remove the hole for where the little keyring can attach as well. And yeah, that that is the shape I'm going for. Just something very basic, just as an, as an example. But you could, of course, spend a lot of time making something that looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you what you can do with simple images like this. And then just click export. I export it as an STL. And before I get to a print, I'm just going to show you something that I can do and something that I'm going to do for my Space Marines. So I'm going to take the Pitsbox logo and again go to the online image converter and get that converted. So I'm just taking the little box part of our logo because that's what I use as a chapter symbol for uh, the Blood Angel Army that I'm doing. Or the Bits Angels as I like to call them. And then do the same thing, get that loaded up in here. And that's the icon for them. So because it's like three separate parts, I'm going to bring them all together by putting a cylinder behind them. And this one's going to be raised, so whereas the other one was sort of imprinted, and this one's going to be raised. So I've showed you two different examples here. And you know, you can do this with any image like you find online. What's quite simple, a lot of the chapter symbols are fairly straightforward, so um, very easy to do this with them. And I'll, I'll up the radius. Make sure we get a nice looking circle there. And then just export that as an STL. And then I've loaded them all up into Chitty Box. And I'm at about 35 degree angle, I've had a load of supports. Um, yeah, I, f I think in hindsight I should have done the keyring at a more steeper angle. And um, it does end up printing a little bit warped, and I think that might be the reason. Um, if, if you know the actual reason, if that's not the actual reason, then do let me know in the comments. So I send them to print, and here they are, straight off the print bed. Um, I won't be holding this around too much longer, because I'm not going to get um, resin everywhere, but yeah, they came out pretty nice. You can see it's quite straight there, um, but as it, as it dried, it did warp a little bit, but that, you know, it's quite nice. Nice little keyring shape. And then we've got the little symbols here. So really happy they, they turned out. The larger ones can go on like rhino doors and such. And then and the smaller ones can go on like dreadnoughts and things like that. And yeah, um, if you want to see them on shoulder pads, come in a future video. So here it is sort of just giving a quick little paint job of white and blue. Just chucked it on the keys. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cute little thing. Like I say, um, it's from a picture that my daughter done. So yeah, very cute. And nice little memento, even though it didn't print out perfectly. Um, so I haven't used the bits box symbol yet, but I did print out these Aces spades that I've used on some Outriders for my Emerald Aces. Um, exactly the same thing. And yeah, they look pretty cool on there, so I'll probably do the same for some Outriders for the bits angels at some point. But yeah, pretty straightforward and simple. And yeah, it looks quite nice. So um, I'm going to show you what to do if you've got a image that has like a gradient or different colours like this Final Fantasy 7 logo which I'm using for a Tifa um, miniature. So I first um, just obviously Google it and then save it and then I open up in fire Fireworks and you can use any sort of online or um, any sort of image editor and it's just a case of um, if you can change the hue and saturation and you can see put them right down um, not the hue, sorry, the saturation and the lightness. Just chuck them right down so you just basically get a black and white image. Now if you have like photos and stuff like that, this isn't really going to work very well. You do need a transparent background as well on the image, otherwise it'll just turn the whole thing back, so make sure your background is transparent. But yeah, you can do that and then just export that. And let's save it. And it saves as a transparent image and then load up into Tinkercad. See, there it is. And I put a, a cylinder behind it just so um, all them pieces can just come together rather than um, print them separately because it would be a bit fiddly and a bit of a mess I think. So yeah that brings them all together. And then just export that as an STL. And then I get that loaded up into Chitbox and again just put that at an angle and chuck on a load of support. So what I like to do is I just auto support a uh, medium and then I just get a few heavies and just chuck them on everywhere and um, don't really try and rely on auto supports on 
any software, just chuck in a few extras, it's not going to hurt. And yeah, I get that printed out, and there it is on the Tifa miniature, and yeah, I'm really happy with how that came out, and yeah, it adds a little something to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it somewhat useful. Um, if you're new to 3D printing like I am, then hopefully this helps you out, but it's quite simple to do. Um, you can also just, um, if you use the Windows 3D Maker, um, I think you can download that from the Microsoft Store, that actually just lets you import the images directly, so there's no need to convert them, but I find Tinkercad just a little bit easier to work with, and, you know, it's a very good sort of beginner um, piece of software. I will look into the more advanced 3D um, design and software, but I'm not really sort of artistic in the design nature. I can paint miniatures, but I can't really draw, so I don't know if there'll be much I'll be doing with them, but yeah, um, for now, I hope you guys um, did find this interesting. If you did, um, feel free to give it a like, and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.